Yo, that's you versus the guy she told you not to worry about for sure, dog. Flat land near water. Apparently they tried to make these look like birds. Cause they've seen birds doing Is that a tooth, dude? What the? In today's video, we are going to be arrowhead hunting for the third time. Specifically, I'm gonna be trying to add as many gems to my little gem box I got working. Not gem, J-I-M, gem, G-E-M, meaning badass, arrowheads, spear points, etc. That's pretty much all we got on the schedule for today. I've been doing a lot of hunting. I'm pretty sure by now the Axis Doe video dropped, so if y'all haven't seen that, and that's more your style, go check that out. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the action. That might be something that's like real old. Yeah, that's gotta be something. put that in my pocket. There's been quite a bit of rain here in the last few days. That's why those flowers have bloomed and you always wanna get out and look after a rain. To me at least, it sure makes it easier to see the cool stuff, so. I'm gonna get back to looking. That wasn't anything crazy, but that was definitely something. Maybe it's older, maybe it just had a lot of water. I don't know. But uh, it's a beautiful day. Thank God the clouds came out. It was getting real hot earlier. Although the sun does help with identifying what's cool and what's bull. So maybe I needed to come back out. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to looking and uh, see if I can top that. That one ain't going in the gym box, that's for sure. I've seen this shape before, believe it or not. I'll have to go get the rock that I'm talking about that looks like this and show y'all, but this is a common shape out here. I've seen a couple different ones of these. I'm guessing it's just some sort of two-sided little like mallet or something. Hell yeah. Two solid finds so far. Neither is gonna end up in the gym box, but definitely worth me getting out and looking at this spot though. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep looking around here and. See if anything else turns up. Is that a tooth, dude? What the? Does anybody know teeth? I mean, I guess it could be a deer, but... If anybody knows teeth at home, let me know what kind of animal has these teeth. It'd be badass if it was a human, though. Oh, there's a ram. I ain't a tooth fairy, so I'm gonna get out of here and let those two idiots that are up on that ridge do their thing over here and we'll go pick on some other sheep. <laughs> They obviously don't want us here, so we're gonna get to looking somewhere else. And uh, if anybody knows what that is, let me know. Let me know what kind of animal has this teeth or this style teeth, at least. Was not expecting to find a tooth out here. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get to moving. Although this tooth is pretty cool, 
your boy ain't the damn tooth fairy so we're gonna get to moving down this road over my left shoulder and uh test our luck at another pond Flat land near water. Doesn't look like a bad little spot to look. Could find something. Could also step on a snake. That might be something. This is another one of those weird tools. It matches one that I found somewhere completely different on the ranch. This thing looks just like one of those tools I found somewhere else on the property. Could have been the same dude that made it. Could have been a whole different tribe. Could have been who knows what. But man, that's so cool. So apparently, remember, I'm not an expert at this. I've just found a few. But through my research, apparently they tried to make these look like birds. That's where they got the idea. To give it that kind of beak shape. Because they've seen birds doing... I'm kind of skipping out on the boring parts. But this wasn't like right away at this spot. It's gonna seem like that in the video, but that's just cause I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible for y'all at home. All of this, if it ever rains really bad, it flows into that pond that's over in that direction. I don't like looking when all the rocks are really spread out like this. For me at least, I've had most success when I look in areas that the rocks aren't really spread out, but there's not a gazillion either. A nice little medium is where I've had my most success. So that's what I'm gonna go look for over there to give myself, at the very least, some confidence. Some confidence. Some confidence. Some confidence. Some confidence. Loser! I'm not even gonna waste your time with that spot. I didn't find anything. And I'm pretty sure I got stung by a bee. So I'm headed to one of my spots that I know there's gonna be something. Cause that spot sucks. I'm done with that All right, on to the next spot. This spot, I'm almost certain I'll find something. So I'll pick things back up when I get over there. So I'm not far at all from the house. It's literally right up there. But for whatever reason, this little area, what I call the runway, has been one of my best arrowhead hunting spots. No way. Dude, no way. How'd they make this? And how is it, dude, it hasn't even opened up yet. How'd they make this, dude? JK. Ah, uh, I cracked myself up. This is one of the broadheads I use for anybody who's a deer hunter or interested in arrowheads besides the ones that are made out of rock. I do some bow hunting in my other videos. So if y'all want to go check out those, go ahead. But uh, if y'all don't, I'll go ahead and continue looking. I apologize for my terrible joke. So let's get to looking. And uh, this time for real, we'll be able to tell whether or not 
this spot that's right next to the house is the best arrowhead hunting spot on the property. There's some deer tracks or maybe pig tracks. I'm thinking pig. Came right through here. Is that something? Oh, that's fucking cool. Man, it's not fully formed, but. Looks like to me the tip just broke. I like the color of this one. Man, I wasn't expecting something right there. Well, my theory seems to be holding true so far. Okay, so that's at least the right kind of rock. Oh, there's a previously digested dead rat of some sort. Hmm. Rock can stay with that. Although one might think that finding a previously consumed dead rodent screams arrowhead, you'd be surprised. It actually screams rattlesnake more than anything. So. I'm going to putt-putt down here a little bit more and uh, get back to looking, get a little vibe change, and uh, <laughs> hopefully continue the luck we've had so far down here, just not the previously digested dead rat part. Yeah, let's just get rid of that part. We were just on the other side of this brush line just a second ago. And I didn't feel like finding any more rats, so we putt putted over here. Oh, here's another one of those shapes that I've found a few times. This one's a little different, but Most definitely a tool. As you can see, it looks just like the beak, similar to that other one. I'll take it. If you continue to find flakes and flakes and flakes, eventually you're going to stumble upon your sunglasses that fell off your hat. But for real, you're eventually going to stumble upon a full-sized arrowhead. And it's fun, dude. It's a dopamine rush. Like, you're going to have a fun time if you find an arrowhead. Much like the rest of life, if you want to have some fun, a lot of times it takes some hard work, patience, and uh, effort. But if you do those things, I'm telling you, depending on where you're at in the world, it's worth it because it's a lot of fun. It's hard to explain how rewarding it is when you find a full arrowhead. It's like a weird feeling where you know someone used a rock to make their own arrowhead to provide for their family. And you're touching that same rock, God knows how many years later. There's something about that. It's really fun when you find one and uh, I highly recommend it. Speaking of which, if you wanna come out here and arrowhead hunt with me, it's a lot of fun and I really do appreciate y'all's support. So if you wanna come out here and arrowhead hunt or 
do any sort of hunting that you've seen on the channel, check out the description box. I will leave instructions as to how you can go about hitting me up and we can get something rolling. So here's a pile. A lot of times these rocks are stacked for a reason. Oh, speaking of which, boom. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something, all right. Oh, yeah. Well, told you this spot was pretty dope. That was like clockwork, baby. Oh, dude, no way. What are the odds of that? Right next to each other? That's epic. But only downside about this spot is I'm getting hammered by horse flies, bro. But it won't give me a break. I'm gonna keep moving a little bit. I wanna check out a couple more spots before it's all said and done. Shut up, car. I want to check out a couple more spots before it's all said and done. Because I'm on a little roll, not going to lie. Found quite a few today. As you can see, the main house is just right up there. So I just think it's kind of funny that not only did the Indians want to live over here, but so did the people who built the house. I mean, it's about as funny as my arrowhead joke earlier, but still. Anyways, I'm going to check out one more spot over here. Let's have a day today, kid. We can start the day and end the day with beautiful flowers. That might have been an old something. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. What's this? Nothing. Oh, no way. That's cool, bro. Yo, that's you versus the guy she told you not to worry about for sure, dog. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to today's video. This is going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And as always, I appreciate you, appreciate your time, and I will catch you in the next video.